Let's go to another overachiever, Brad Tucker, astrophysicist and cosmologist at ANU. Um, I'm sure you've got about 106 degrees, so that's why I'm putting you in that <laughs> category. Brad, let's, uh, let's begin our space chat, though. Yep. You, you like uh, alerting our viewers to some great free shows they can see up in the skies. This time we're talking about meteors and 15 to 20 an hour, which I guess that's quite a few for meteors, even though you have a sort of, what, three or four minute break in between each one? Yeah, it's one of those where it's actually predictable in, in terms of how much it's per you know producing. So normally you may see a shooting star or a meteor. You may get lucky and get one or two a night. On these meteor showers, in this case, the Eta Aquarius, it regularly produces quite a bit. And as you said, they're 15 to 20, about per hour or so. You know, if you're out for a few hours in the morning and it's clear, uh, you can see, you know, hopefully quite a few. And it's all a bit about uh, dust and rock that have actually fallen off Halley's Comet. So it's a really cool thing. And because it's visible also everywhere in Australia, it means everyone gets enjoyed. It's not just you have to be at this one exact location at this one exact time. Everyone has a chance in the early morning skies to do it. Yeah, you can see a little bright light there, the International Space Station. So uh, I've always wondered what some of those lights are up in the air. It's good to slowly get educated, Brad. Um, so that's the, the good thing to see out of the sky.